The first thing we do is to add some pip tracks. We will need at least three pip tracks. I'll put four in. So we have one, two, three, and let us make sure we can see them all. One, two, three, four pip tracks. If we take our media file, drop it down to pip track number one, and then we must resize it to full screen. I do this first because what we will do is, having resized that, we will copy it. So we can copy that, put our timeline here, take another copy, move our time scrubber along, take another copy. I'm doing four, I really only need three. But it gives us something to work with. We then move these down into our three pip tracks and I leave that one here as a spare. Bear in mind the precedent that takes place when you use pip tracks in that uh, the bottom one overlays the next one which overlays the next one. So the first thing to do is perhaps to um, use our bottommost pip track move into pip designer and the exciting part see if our mask is there and here we have our custom mask so if we put it on you can't see anything because it looks exactly the same nothing changes so if we say OK to that and we switch off these tracks here you will be able to see that is our mask as we said the white bits are transparent and the transparent bits are not transparent so what we have to remember is exactly how we want this to work we switch our tracks back on again that means we have a mask here and the effect we want is to have the main video in black and white. But we also, in part, as part of our planning, want that to change into full colour, let us say about two thirds of the way through our video. So firstly, if we move to the top pip track, select it, and go to Fix Enhance, to color adjust, take our saturation slider all the way down to grayscale, we will end up with a monochrome video clip. What that now means is if we go back to our movie mode, we switch off the middle track so that we don't see it, we end up with a color popped video. And the reason we have two pip tracks is to manage the fade to full colour. And this is where it gets a little bit complicated because one track needs to fade from black and white to full colour and the other one needs to do the opposite so that we get our fade. So if we switch this track back on again and we work specifically on the top track. So pip 1 is going from monotone through to full colour. The way we do that is to pick our motion path and we pick no motion. And that gives us two keyframes, a start and a finish. At the moment our transparency is nil 
and we want to finish it with 100% transparency so that it allows the full color version in PIP Track 2 to come through. So if we move to our next keyframe it is 100% transparent. So let's press OK. Having applied the saturation fade from mono to full colour to this one, we can see the effect. Here we have a colour popped mono, and if we put the scrubber down to the end, we have a full colour. So, the next thing we need to do is to do the opposite to PIP Track 2. So, into PIP Designer. into motion path, no motion. We want to have 100% transparency to start with and we want to go to the end keyframe and have no transparency at all so it show all the way through. Press OK. We may also like to just have a little bit more color adjustment and we will use saturation and just take it up a little bit and perhaps lighten it a fraction. Something like that perhaps. OK. And that should give us um, a straightforward fade.